As the saying goes, for any revolution to be a success, it must first swallow its own children. Indeed, many of the fallen NRM fighters who fought for a just cause war to bring then NRA to power in a liberation guerrilla war of six years from 1981 to 1986 have since been forgotten. Majority of them were children who voluntarily had been given to the leader of the ragtag rebel force then time Museveni but ended up being swallowed by the revolution. There were sacrificial lambs of the revolution but many have been forgotten. The silent heroes, this year's Heroes Day falling on Tuesday next week, will reflect on the NRM fighters who were killed in Chiboga district, one of the historic battlegrounds of the NRM Liberation War. President Museveni, then leader of the Liberation, will unveil a monument at Duanilo Sub County in Chiboga district where many of the child soldiers were killed from. Ofono Pondo is the NRM Secretariat spokesperson. People who died during the Luero Triangle. As many people know, there are people up to today, there are families today who still think their relatives are alive. Perhaps they went to Kenya, they came to Kampala, and they have refused to go back home, when in actual fact, they died. There are people, when you walk into that Luero Triangle, you keep picking a skull, you pick a bone. And so the government has decided that we should have a huge monument for the unknown and unnamed people who died. The day will run under the theme Our Heroes, Building Blocks for a Better Uganda. But what is the relevance of this? The theme for this year is Our Heroes, Building Blocks for a Better Uganda. Really to say that we should build on, we should add on to what our heroes, past and present, have done to bring Uganda this far. Whereas this may be the relevance, but many Ugandans have complained that Heroes Day has lost meaning for it has been hijacked by the ruling NRM to make it a party day rather than a national day. District leaders are advised to postpone all celebrations on that day so as to make it a priority. People who have served in the civil service, people who have served in the previous armies, People have perhaps contributed in the politics of their area. People have contributed, in, you could have been a teacher, and your name was forwarded. So we expect medal awards on this occasion. We do encourage all the districts to send delegations and to postpone district celebration, and they can hold their district celebration at a later time. Over the years, the history of Uganda has been determined or shaped by different individuals and groups endowed with extraordinary conviction in what is good for their country and her people. Their works have truly and strongly served as building blocks to the nation's history. Jocelyn Nachibole, the WBS-TV in Kampala.